In this video, we're breaking down the mechanism behind referred pain. But let's start with what referred pain means. It refers to the phenomenon that occurs when you feel a pain in a region where there is no damage. And the typical example is when you have heart damage and you feel some pain in your arm. And the leading theory behind why this is happening is called the convergence prediction theory. And I'll try to illustrate it with this animation. Here we see some damage in the heart muscle and there is a release of neurotransmitters for the pain nerves within the heart. and an action potential is generated within the nerve and the nerve starts to signal pain. And here we see the synapses with the second order neurons. The first neuron releases neurotransmitters that is picked up by the second order neuron. But some of these neurotransmitters can spread to other synapses that are close by. And if enough neurotransmitters travels to this other synapse, it could cause the second order neuron in this synapse to create an action potential as well. And now both these signals will reach the brain and the brain will feel like the pain is coming from both these regions, even though the damage was only in the heart. And so here we see the path which this pain signal took in this illustration. So you can see that there was never any damage or pain signals at the skin level. But since the second order neuron for the skin was still activated, the brain is unable to differentiate this from real skin damage. And that covers everything for this video. I hope you understand referred pain a little bit better now.